गाइस वेलकम टू चाइल्ड चिल्ड टॉक्स मेरा नाम दिशा है एंड आई एम हर टुडे विद सम डॉक्यूमेंट्री रेकमेंडेशंस फॉर यू आज की सारी डॉक्यूमेंट्री रेकमेंडेशंस में कॉमन थीम है आर्ट की एंड बाय दैट आई स्पेसिफिकली मीन विजुअल आर्ट्स लाइक पेंटिंग स्कल्पटिंग फोटोग्राफी एंड द लाइक्स first documentary on my list is turning the art world inside out this is a bbc arts documentary hosted by alex yentog about outsider art outsider art refers to the artwork created by artists who have little to no contact with the mainstream art world due to developmental disabilities psychiatric disorders um untrained ability or even poverty this documentary seeks to explore this very exclusionary label of outsider art in contemporary times through a series of very thought provoking interviews with some of these outsider artists curators and gallery owners across the globe through this documentary i was introduced to some of my now favorite artists It's a very heartfelt watch which had me in tears by the end of it. One of the most interesting discussions that emerges within this documentary is when the host reflects upon how uh none of these artists are driven by profit or fame and inquires into what is driving them to create if not commercial success. This really resonated with me because at the point when I was watching this documentary I was questioning how much of what i created was simply out of the joy of it because i had unknowingly slipped into this frame of mind where i wouldn't let myself create if i did not have a commercial reason to justify its creation and this documentary gave me a lot of inspiration with regards to that the next documentary is the painter and the thief This is a documentary by the Norwegian filmmaker Benjamin Re about an artist Barbora Kislakova whose two paintings get stolen from the gallery and she goes on to befriend one of the two thieves who stole these paintings from her by asking him if she can paint a portrait of him. This film follows the unlikely bond that develops between the two of them and the lives that they lead separately and together after the heist. Watch this documentary not just for the unique story but also how brilliantly it has been made. My favorite part is how the documentary maker allows the thief to narrate the back story of the painter and lets the painter narrate the back story of the thief essentially letting them paint a portrait of each other while he paints one of them this is a moving piece on compassion and forgiveness next is the french documentary faces places inside outside project is an art initiative by the french photographer and street style artist jr in which he basically makes enormous portraits of the people he meets and plasters them onto walls of buildings the documentary faces places chronicles one leg of this project in which jr takes along with him the legendary filmmaker Agnes Varda and the film follows as they travel together through rural France meeting people from tiny villages and hamlets learning their stories and making their portraits besides the attempt to understand France through its ordinary people the film revolves around the beautiful friendship that blossoms between JR and Varda who have a 55 year age gap between them this documentary is a visual treat and definitely my comfort watch Next is The Seventh Walk or Satvi Sair an experimental documentary film by Amit Datta about the Indian artist Paramjit Singh it doesn't ascribe to a plot as such and there are no dialogues the film follows along as Paramjit Singh takes a walk in this beautiful obscure forest looking for inspiration and then returns to his home studio to paint all the landscapes that he feels inspired by As the movie progresses you see surreal patterns emerging which also start being reflected in the artist's artwork which then makes you think if you've been taking a walk in the artist's imagination all this while a lot has been left open to interpretation this is definitely a very niche recommendation and isn't for everyone but personally i have never seen or rather experienced anything quite like this especially the wonderful way in which different dimensions and layers of media have been woven together to create this asmr-esque masterpiece i found it to be an utterly 
hypnotic and transcendental experience. The last documentary on my list is Exit Through the Gift Shop. This is a British documentary directed by Banksy. It follows the story of this very eccentric French thrift store owner called Theory Geta, who is obsessed with filming everything around him, which leads him to film his cousin, who is a graffiti artist one day, which is when he realized that this is what he's passionate filming about. So he starts filming a bunch of graffiti artists with the intention of making a documentary about street art one day. Eventually, he gets a chance to work with one of his favorite artists, Banksy, who then sort of hijacks this documentary about him to make it about Theory Geta. This is a profusely entertaining and hilarious film about street art rich with satire, which also makes a lot of thought-provoking statements about the modern standards for evaluation of art and how they are based a lot around hype. There was a lot of uh, suspicion about the authenticity of the story, which makes this documentary all the more interesting. That's all I have for this video. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments and also let me know which genre of documentary should I explore next. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.